everyone <clears throat> welcome to the three minutes engineering concepts the idea of this channel is to explain any fundamental to advanced engineering concept in mechanical engineering and material science in three minutes time if you like the idea of this channel or if you like our topics please share like and subscribe to our channel and this will help you get regular updates and also if you can share it with your colleagues friends and other students that can benefit from it that would be great thank you now i will move to the next part of this presentation and i will try to explain today about the principle of stresses and stress invariance so let's say if you have a material element which has a 3d stress space in x1 x2 and x3 coordinate system and my stress tensor looks something like this which is the tensor shown on the left hand side in the matrix form and again you can see it has a nine components into it so what happens if so if my stress tensor or my orient my localist coordinate system rotates from x1 to x1 double prime and x2 double prime and x3 double prime then i need to update my stress state from sigma 11 to sigma 11 double prime sigma 2 to double prime and so on and how i can do that is i need to compute the rotational angles of or of this new coordinate system and then i need to update my stresses so this is the relationship for that i need to compute this matrix a which is a transformation tensor which is based on the orient reorientation of the new coordinate system and then i multiplied with the old stress state and to get the updated stress state in my double prime configuration however let's say if you're working in a pipeline design world or any other design company then you come across the situations where you have a lot of stress transformations for example in the case of pipeline you will have spiral welds which can be going in the parallel and perpendicular direction so you have to do a lot of stress transformation so to avoid this kind of transformation people come up with the idea of the principal stresses principal stresses are nothing else but the maximum direct stresses which are valid for all possible orientation of the coordinate system and how you compute them is based on the fundamental concept of equilibrium forces in a material element and based on that you obtain an equation which is similar to the one shown in the bottom of the screen in the determinant form and as you can see it's a three by three determinant so you will get a cubic equation in terms of sigma and if you solve for the roots you will get three values of principal stresses sigma and we will call them sigma one sigma two and sigma three which are the principal stresses in this case i have just opened expanded my determinant and my cubic equation would look something like this which is where sigma cube minus i1 i i have replaced the the terms with sigma square sigma and constant with as i1 i2 and i3 and i have given the relationship at the bottom and i will call these i1 i2 and i3 as the stress invariance and this is because they are also these values are also independent of the orientation of the coordinate axis so whatever is the coordinate axis whatever the reorientation these stress invariance values will always be the same and also the roots of this equation which will be three roots will be principal stresses and they will also be independent of the stress orientation or reorientation of the coordinate system itself i hope this you get some idea onto that and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much